Tell you what, it is really a pr pretty pleasant day for the first full day of spring. Yesterday, of course, spring arriving at 529 in the morning. But today we get the full impact of spring across southeastern Wisconsin. And that means a lot of ups and downs coming our way on the thermometer. Yesterday, mid to upper 50s in some locations across our viewing area. Today, we'll be hard pressed to crack 50 degrees anywhere. Here's a live look from our Port Washington Tower Camp, where Vince Vetrano was earlier in the day. And we have some high, thin clouds mixing with some mid level clouds, obscuring the sunshine a little bit. That was full earlier in the day. But the good news is, as a cold front sweeps on by, I think we'll start to see more in the way of clearing skies later on. In your weather headlines, get ready for a double dip in temperatures. Of course, today's the first dip. Tomorrow, the double in the dip when it gets much colder. A ton of sun returning tomorrow as well with a sudden surge in both moisture and mercury by Friday. Across southeastern Wisconsin right now, a real disparity in temperatures. Check this out. 40 in Sheboygan, 42 in Fond du Lac where the front went through earlier, but now down to the south where the temperatures are lagging a little bit. It was able to reach 48 degrees in Kenosha, 47 in Racine, and now I think they're going to start to level off as that front passes on by. Still in all, we're anywhere between 5 and 15 degrees chillier than we were yesterday at this time. Northwesterly breeze sustained anywhere between 10 and 20 miles an hour will continue to be rather brisk as we go through the rest of the afternoon. Notice what those northwesterly breezes are bringing toward us. Much colder temperatures right now 19 degrees in International Falls, Minnesota. That dramatic drop will at least be short lived. I guess that's the silver lining in the clouds that are overhead right now. And here's a look from the space satellite and radar combination. You can see uh, the clouds going through right now along with that frontal boundary with the northwesterly breezes ushering in the chillier temperatures. But eventually that high will bring clear and cold air our way for tomorrow across southeastern Wisconsin right now again. Good deal of thin cloudiness, but we'll start to see more sun later on as future forecast indicates. Now overnight tonight, as we head toward between like 9 and midnight, we'll see a few patchy flurries, maybe a passing snow shower, not amounting to a hill of beans, eventually leading to more sun tomorrow. So your storm team forecast for the balance of the day today, we'll call it mostly sunny to partly cloudy, more seasonal temperatures hovering in the middle 40s. And then for tonight, We'll see mostly cloudy skies, a chance again of those patchy flurries and then breezy and cold overnight down to 22. For tomorrow then, look for mostly sunny skies returning much colder though. Our highs only near 33. Here comes the storm team for seven day forecast. Get ready for a nice bounce back though. We'll reach uh, after today's 40s, tomorrow's 30s. We'll reach back to 43 on Thursday with more sunshine. And then Friday showers, maybe a few cracks of thunder and much warmer up to near 60 degrees. Unfortunately, it looks like the unsettled damp weather will continue through the balance of the weekend as our temperatures don't remain anywhere close to 60 back down into the middle 40s, which is just about where we should be this time of year. You guys. All right, Scott, thank you for